Businesses are hoping for a summer like they have never seen before as more people get vaccinated and more people get ready to travel. Alexa Liaco's in one town that is ready for the rush. Even a gloomy spring day can't dim the charm of Meredith, New Hampshire. Relaxation, uh, tradition, and peace and serenity up here. It's why families have long vacationed here and why many have chosen this town to build their own American dream. Hart's Turkey Farm was started by my grandfather in 1954. He came out of New York City to, to be a farmer in New Hampshire. But the farming business didn't take off for Grandpa Hart, so he started a restaurant. I'm the third generation owner. My son is also a co-manager here, so I now have the fourth generation in here. From homemade desserts to catered events with hundreds of guests, Hart's Turkey Farm made a holiday meal an everyday tradition until last March. On the 16th, I employed almost 200 people full and part time. Uh, on the 17th, I was down to, I, I held on to eight employees. In an instant, Sim Willie watched his life's work nearly slip away. And like that, I'm right back down here. It's, it's very humbling and, and you, you know, now I'm doing, you know, I was, I'm doing dishes, I'm doing anything I can to to survive. My name is Cody. I'll be taking care of you today. His employees are in survival mode too. It's so something you see in a movie where it's like a ghost town where you're kind of just standing around waiting for something to show up. As you can see, the building was constructed in what's known as the arts and crafts style. Charles Clark runs Castle in the Clouds, a popular museum and wedding venue overlooking the lake. 90% of his events were canceled last year, so they shut down completely for the winter. It made more financial sense and more safety sense to stay closed. Uh, so it's been quite a long time since uh, October of last year that we've had any visitors. But this summer, there is hope for this lakeside community. You know, the tourism industry seems like it's poised for a rebound. Hotels are already booking up. We are projected to have sold out weekends from June through September. Weddings are back on. Weddings for 2021 are basically sold out. And this family's tradition will get another chance to survive. Last year, we lost everything. This year, you know, on, on the books, we're overbooked and we're extremely excited about it. Sim just hopes he won't have to serve the summer rush on a skeleton crew. All of a sudden, we're in a severe labor shortage. And so I am a little concerned about how, how we all are going to survive that piece of it because so many people have not come back to work yet. So each day, Sim works to recruit a new team to handle the crowds, eager that they'll see this tourist town and this business for what it truly is. At the end of the day, is, is, it's my heart and soul. For The Race, I'm Alexa Liaco. We're looking at the concept of a vaccine passport next on The Race.